Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people, Israel. Amen. I don't have all the liturgy. I do miss it. This is my evening prayer. <coughs> People of scholars have done this over centuries. It's all there. The Book of Common Prayer, if you like, or whatever. Anyway. That's a bit I do know. Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We share my faith with my fellow Christians. Where are they? If I join the big church, then I become a hypocrite too. And I'm not. And I won't do that. I can't. I can't. It's my life. I will not. I cannot. I've been at this for decades. Avoided becoming a priest at the Cathedral and Abbey Church of St. Albans, for instance. On Saturday, the 2nd of March, 1996. Avoid becoming a Benedictine monk. I'm not qualified at anything. Except with, with the strength with which I love God through Christ. I want to share my love. I don't want to be praying alone all the time. There'll be even song up at the little Church of England here in Blythebridge, but I will not go. They're hypocrites. Look at them. Thrashing around like a bunch of blooming complete fools with those women ordaining bishops and the whole blooming nonsense. I miss it like Billy O. How can I dismiss? <clears throat> well, the Church of England has been going for 400 years, but many of these buildings are Norman, aren't they? And then they're on a site, this St. Bertolin, in, for instance, in Stafford, at the Preaching Cross, where Stafford was founded. On the, uh, St. Mary's is the church there, since about the year 700. And I go up to Iona for St. Columba. Uh, off the west coast of Scotland, so he's it's about 580. I can't possibly dismiss all these hundreds of years of faith and people doing stuff. People imbued with the Holy Spirit, of that I'm absolutely sure, as I am too, now. And that Spirit will guide me, you don't need the internet. This is just a helpful modern tool. Hmm. So, there we are. 